Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at another court case. Um, this one is called Judge Manning deeply concerned after reading police report. You know, you know, Judge Manning is in Fulton County and there's some strange characters in Fulton County. Uh, so it sh we should be in for a treat on this one. So let's don't waste any time. Let's get right into it. Uh, both Ms. Hall and just yourself as uh, witnesses? Yes. All right. Y'all both raise your right hands really quick for me. Y'all swear for testimony you're going to give is the truth, told truth, but the, but the truth. Ms. Sheer Hall. I do. All right. I Ms. Do. Tiffany Hall. Yes. Okay. So, Ms. Sharon Hall, start from the most recent event and work backwards and tell me um, about the family life. Okay. Um, recent event um, on December 22nd, uh, Ms. Hall, uh, Mrs. Hall was served at her job. I uh, spoke with the judge, Tamika. No, 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 no. It, that doesn't matter about all that. I just want to know okay. the family violence. Don't tell me okay. what you oh, okay. did. Okay. Um, I have been dealing with um, Mrs. Hall uh, on a number of occasions with knives. Uh, uh, suicide attempts and um, cutting me and giving me stitches and uh, pointing guns at me. Um, I've had to call the police department. I've got five police reports hey, here. Let me interrupt you, Ms. Hall. Okay. So, most recent event, you just said nine. Okay. November of 2022, pulled a knife on me. That, that's what I need. That's okay. Like, does this. So, okay. What date, roughly. Okay. So, the dates. Okay. So, oh. uh, uh, on uh, January 2nd, Miss Tiffany put, uh, put a gun to her head and then pointed the gun at me and um, told me, do not move. On uh, October uh, 2020, um, uh, Mrs. Hall cut me in front of her uh, son and gave me 12 stitches. That's, uh, that's in 2020? Yeah, that, that was in 2020. Um, 2022 was the gun. Yeah, the, the gun was uh, January 2nd on her other son's birthday. She pointed a gun at me. Uh, she pointed at her head first, and then she pointed it at me and told me I better not move. And then she pointed back at her head, which I then ran and called the police, and they took her to the hospital. Uh, in February, uh, I called again uh, because it was more threats. She she was pointing the knife at me. She didn't lunge at me, but she just would point it and tell me to stay back. Uh, our whole relationship has been about me trying to stop her from committing suicide. My son committed suicide. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear it, let me interrupt because there's certain things that I need to know. Okay. And, and specific things I need to know. Okay. So, so January of this year, but what specifically has happened like 2022, February, March, April, May, June, July? Okay. What so happened to make you come today or come when you did or I say, I want a TPO because something had okay. to happen. Okay. Well, what, what happened with the TPO is on November 27th. Um, I asked Miss uh, Hall to, I've been sleeping on the floor for four and a half months in my office. I asked her, you know, if she can move, she agreed she would move to the downstairs bedroom where all her clothing is. She decided she was not going to move and she got upset. And I told her that, you know, this the relationship was ending. We, I cannot sleep on the floor and all of her children are sleeping in a bed and I'm I take care of all the bills in the home. So what can somebody tell me why people like this stay with people like this? This doesn't make any sense to me. For from what I hear so far that for two years there has been, a, a, you know, an incident where this woman just cut this lady and she had to get stitches. She pulled guns on her several times. She's pulled another a knife on her another time. I understand she's staying in her office right now, but it is, but 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 there should be something to where they get a divorce and move on and get, whoever's house it is should if it's if it's the Sharon Hall, she should be able to kick this lady out of her house after they get a divorce. It's kind of crazy. I just don't understand how people stay together like this. Happened is Miss Hall decided when I, I told her I was going to contact the police, she decided she would call the police on me for the first time. And she asked, uh, told them that I had uh, assaulted her. They came out. 
they uh, the police talked with me, went up to talk with her. She screamed at him, yelled at him, told him she he should have talked to her first. And then he said, well, where did she hit you? And she could not tell him where. And then he had her checked out, her body, which they then said that there were no uh, bruises or anything on her body. Uh, at that point, the police left. They t She told them she wanted me to go to jail, and they said she would go to jail as well. So she refused to do that because they said, as far as they're concerned, you know, th it didn't happen. So after the police left, her sister, she called her sister and her niece over here, and she requested that they beat me up and jump on me. Yeah. And they didn't. Now, hold up, let me interrupt you. Mm -hmm. so, did she say that to them in front of you? Yes, I heard her. Okay. She was oh, upstairs. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just feel like yeah. there's there's nuances yes. that I need to hear. That's why I keep interrupting you so much. Right. I, I was keep, sitting no. at the no. bottom. Hold on, hold on. Ms. Ms. Sharon Hall. You hold on one second. Okay. Because Ms. Tiffany Hall is going to start interrupting. This okay. calls you. Go ahead, Ms. Tiffany Hall. Just respond to what she said, please. That is inaccurate, Judge, Your Honor. Um, okay. I, I have had issues with su suicidal ideations. I am uh, being honest about that, but I have never, and there's not a report that I've ever threatened this woman. I need you to understand that we are in the middle of a divorce, and I we have been sleeping separate since August. There has not been an issue. I do have three children, one being a minor child, and to be put out of our home three days before Christmas because she we had a house built and because I will not agree to her for her to keep the house. She had no other way but to concoct this whole story against me, Your Honor, so that she could have me put me and my children put out of our house three days before Christmas. I have a 12-year-old daughter, Your Honor. And yes, I do have PTSD and I'm a survivor of domestic violence and I'm still being abused. And I do, I would like to return home because any, all this stuff that she's saying, only thing is true is that I have dealt with suicidal thoughts, Your Honor. But I have never threatened her. I have never pulled a gun on her. I have never pulled a knife on her. And I need you to understand this is a ploy. This is all a part of a bigger picture that we're in the middle of the divorce and she wants the house and I refuse to leave my house that I own I co-own with her and she works for law firms and she has all these judges in her pocket or so no, she can't. No ma'am. Yeah. No. No, no. I, 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 I need to share home. Nobody I, has a judge in their pocket. If no, no, not you. I'm not pocket, saying I'm, I'm not, not saying you're saying me, but I'm also yeah. not going to let you talk about yeah. the judiciary like that. Right. This year in Hall, stay out of it. I got it. Okay. No, if no. I'm, happened, I'm, they would I'm, have, so don't even go there. Okay. I'm letting you. So right off the, when you say stuff like, see, this is how, you know, that's pretty dumb to say something like that in court. You know, automatically it's going to piss off the judge. And if that's your goal, then yeah, go ahead and spout, spout off bullshit like that. But the problem, I mean, now you've now you've put yourself behind the eight ball, man. Now, 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 there's thoughts inside the head. You know, judges are human beings. I mean, this is going to sit there. So this is this is the way she's going to represent represent herself. This is kind of this is a that was a very stupid statement. You what I have been threatened with, and what I what her intimidation factors are. Your honor, your, um, she works for a law firm. Both of you, stop, 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 okay. stop, 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 stop. I have a minor child who is sleeping on the floor with me at my older daughter's house, all due to a lie, your honor. And yes, I refuse to press charges because I didn't feel like I needed to go to jail when someone assaulted me. I called the police first, and then subsequently, she called them a few minutes later. So I'm hoping that you see through the bigger picture here, Your Honor. Can I speak, Your Honor? Hold on, Miss Freeze emailing me this police report because I looked over it yeah. already. I, I, yes, I. Her, both of her children are still here with me. Her oldest. No, I have children. a twelve-year-old who is not. There. The twelve-year is with her father. No, she uh, was with her father for the holiday. My, my daughter lives no. there, okay, Your Honor. Stop. 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 Miss Freeze emailing me the police report where you were served. So, and it concerns me, ma'am, Miss Tiffany Hall. Sorry, you're both Hall, so you just have to uh, apologize. You're unfit. That concerns me, Miss Tiffany Hall. Which part, Your Honor? Have you seen the police report? No, Your Honor, I haven't. So 
you were there when you were Miss Free. You emailed it, right? I'm, I'm sorry. You could email that police report to my yes. email. Okay. So you were there, right, Miss Tiffany Hall? So, so you know what happened. I was there at the residence and I, I know what was, I know what happened. Yes, I know what happened. I'm not sure what she told them happened. Which day are you referring to? Is it November 27th or December 22nd? Hold on, it's taking a minute for the email to get here. Yes, ma'am. Because I want you to see exactly what it says. Okay. And can I make a statement about my 12 year old daughter? She is in school. She's supposed to return back to school on Tuesday. And yes, she was with her father, but now she's back with me because their pipes busted. And so she's with me. She's with me 100% of the time. She was with, just with them for a week. She was supposed to return home on the 23rd. But of course, Miss Tiffany Hall. Yes. Okay, to listen. <coughs> this police officer says when they made entry in the home, they observed you with an eight to 10 inch knife in your right hand. For my, yes, I. Bam. So it's not that. See, that's this what, what's devastating about this police report right off the bat. It's not that someone said she had a 10 inch long knife. It's that they uh, that the police officer, when they got there, observed it, saw it in her hand. That's pretty damning. Threatened to keep myself and they let me right. out that same night, Your Honor. I have paperwork that I can also email you to tell you that I was discharged. You told the cop, why don't you just shoot me? Yes. Ms. Tiffany, no, Ms. Tiffany, I, I told the this. cop, why don't you just shoot me? Ms. Tiffany, me out of my misery. Ms. Tiffany, Hall, Ms. Tiffany, Hall, Ms. Tiffany, Hall, Tiffany, Hall, Tiffany, Hall, Tiffany, Hall. Ms. Tiffany, Hall, I am worried about you. Because this, Ms. 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 Tiffany, Hall, please just listen to me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I apologize. Not hurt. But we're going to grant it because y'all are going to get a divorce and that's phenomenal. But I'm sure that Ms. Sharon Hall still cares about you and does not want you to harm yourself. Ms. Tiffany Hall, just please listen to me and don't interrupt me. The world yes, is a much better place with you here. You have children. You have other people that love you. And please get the help that you need. Please get the help that you need. Who cares what Sharon Hall is doing? You should not care what Sharon Hall is doing. What you need to do, Miss Tiffany Hall, is to take care of you, of your children. I, I want you to do that, Miss Tiffany Hall. Please do that. I do not want you to be a statistic and a horrible statistic. This hurts my heart. What hurts my heart on top of this is that this woman is obviously has real bad problems here. And she has children in her home and her children, there's no, t listen, there's no telling what these children have seen or go gone through. I've been, you know, I, I had, I had a friend of mine that his mother was, uh, 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 was crazy. And, and the things I witnessed being over at his house, was was completely crazy so there's there's no telling uh, uh, what what i'm concerned about more than this this petty tpo here <clears throat> is is these children and I, i'm not understanding why we're not talking about getting involved for the children mr gales stop putting stuff in the chat right now Because when you do that, Mr. Gales, that's you violating the TPO. Unless you're telling me you love me. Now, Miss Tiffany Hall. Yes, ma'am. Um, Miss Sharon Hall. I'm sure Miss Tiffany Hall needs to get some belongings for her or the children. Yes. There are sheriffs that do standbys, but they're a few weeks and especially with the holiday, they do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And they only come by for like two hours. Um, so they only come by from then. And, it, and that's with a domestic standby. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, unless you both have someone mutual that can be there instead of you, instead of y'all being there together, that can be.
be there while she gets her things or if you can so so just stop shaking your head just let me okay yeah I'm, yeah I'm Miss just, Connor my oh, children go to Miss school Miss Tiffany oh, Miss Tiffany stand by stand by okay now I'm going to let whoever's here in the divorce make any changes that they deem necessary because there's a much bigger picture than it but somehow her and the children needs to get some things in the sharing home so I don't know if you can get some things together and you know there's options like drop it off with a mutual friend or her friends or her parents or somewhere but the sharing home can you do that where you get some yes. things together and drop them off so who where would you drop them off for? well um her two children are still here with me what? your honor the two oldest the children are living with you all sleep on the floor and i will she drop them off i so, i can have them help me drop them off at her um, this is a five her mother house, house. Your honor. at her mother's house no okay. i don't talk to my mother's ma'am yeah that's unfortunate the share home so yes now are you talking about the kids my kids my 12 year old daughter she you want the children to stay at grandma's house for mom no no that no the children her two children are staying with me right now while she's not here okay and my child is 21 and 18. 21 and 18. yeah so the children that are there you don't mind if they stay there okay so uh, okay so the, they're they're adult children okay there, there's no reason for concern at this point but i can tell you though that there's no telling what these adult children these adult people at this point have gone through their entire life there's no telling i bet you they got stories to tell there until until we can yes i don't have a problem and they've asked me can they stay here they've okay. asked me okay so whatever she needs to be dropped off at her mother's okay right, you, you guys can do that right yes i can okay that's what i need i need you folks to do that and Miss Tiffany Hall and Miss Sharon Hall, I need you to both put your email in the chat. We're going to send you a copy of this. Miss Tiffany Hall, I really, more than anything, want you to get help for yourself. Please. But what about my 12 year old daughter? You want her to go sleep on the floor from a machine? <coughs> Where's the 12 year old staying, Miss Sharon Hall? Um, the 12 year old was just recently with her father. Um, and she asked, could she go live with her father? As a matter of fact, this year, she asked That's her mom. That's not true. Whoa, whoa, that is whoa, not whoa. true. Man, this woman, this woman seems crazy now. The, the, it, it, the longer this goes on, the worse her, her character is being shown here. Whoa. Okay. I don't need that. Okay. Well, she, 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 no. mm -hmm. So she can be with her. Yes. That's fine. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Y'all both put your emails in the chat. We'll send you copy. Miss Tiffany Hall, please get some help. Please. But we're going to place in there that anything you folks agree to in the divorce that can modify issues in the TPO. Okay. Okay. So Miss Tiffany Hall you cannot contact Miss Sharon Hall at all. I mean, for the divorce, y'all are going to have contact at court, but you cannot do that. Ms. Tiffany Hall, place your email in the chat. Ms. Sharon Hall, she doesn't. Could you please put both of your emails in the chat so that we can send both of you copies of the order? And make sure you check your... Um, there we go. That was it. So what did you think about that? Man, that woman seemed like she... As, as, the, as, the, as, the, as they talked, the, the more crazy she got. Um, so... It's like I said before, it's kind of crazy to me that people like this stayed together so long. I mean, once you come, if you came at me, if I, if you was my spouse or whatever, and you came at me with a butcher knife trying, and then you actually cut me with the butcher knife and I had to go to get stitches and you put a gun to my head and your head, we'd be done a long time ago. There wouldn't have been no Oh, let's work it out. <coughs> it would have been done. So, anyway, there's another case down. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Till next time, see ya.